As countless dads wake up this Father's Day to home-cooked breakfasts, homemade cards, and hugs from their kids, we certainly don't want to forget the military dads deployed abroad who are spending today away from their families. One dad, Marine Master Sergeant Chris, Chris Willenbecker, spent the past nine months in Afghanistan as part of his seventh and final deployment before he retires later this year. So he's been away for a long time. They probably never get used to those deployments, though. Ten-year-old Cole and five-year-old Kate are anxiously awaiting their dad's return home. The two boys, though, have no idea that dad actually landed in San Diego just hours ago. And that's where he is now, actually up at Camp Pendleton, about to make this one memorable Father's Day. We're going to just let this play out here for a moment. Take a look. Live. Baseball starters, huh? Daddy! <laughs> Come here, little man. What are you guys up to, huh? Uh huh? What are you guys up to, huh? Not much. Not much? Do you know what's coming home? Uh huh? I missed you. I missed you last time. I missed you. I missed you. You guys gonna be good? Yes. Yeah. You guys are up to, huh? So much. Yeah. Not much. Huh? You been playing baseball? Yeah. 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 You guys done with school? Yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? Good. Huh? Good. 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 So you guys, as we mentioned, uh, summer break. The sergeant was expected in about two weeks, so the kids you know, knew he was coming home soon, but certainly not today. What a great moment. It really is, and, and, and you know, so special and so kind of them to let us follow it and see it play out here live. We want to give them a, a moment to sort of collect themselves, uh, get back together again there, as we wish a happy Father's Day to Marine Master Sergeant Chris Willenbecker and to all of our service men home and abroad. We're going to check in again with them in just a minute, see how what they think about yeah, all of that. Yeah, we'll ask them a few questions. Uh, looking forward to that, but what a, what a tremendously sweet moment. But as we dry our eyes, let's head outside <laughs> to the plaza for a final check of the weather from Dylan. We're all trying to dry our eyes out here, too, but all the fathers, happy Father's Day, everyone, here on the plaza this morning and at home. And that was a scene just a few minutes ago when Marine Master Sergeant Chris Willenbecker surprised his sons out in San Diego on this Father's Day morning. They thought he was still in Afghanistan, that he wouldn't be home for another couple weeks. But Master Sergeant Willenbecker, uh, along with the help of his ex-wife Jody, did a great job, I think, pulling one over on Cole and Kate. It worked out pretty well. Great to have all of you with us, and welcome home, and thank you for your service. Thank you, ma'am. So uh, I know you, great to be home. you probably played through this in your mind what this moment would be like surprising your kids. What was it like for you walking out there and seeing them? It was unbelievable. I mean, they've grown so much in the last nine months. So just to, to see them after nine months was an unbelievable feeling. How did you manage to get out of Afghanistan early and pull this off? Uh, through the help of the PAO office and uh, your producers, actually. And we just happened to get lucky in catching a flight and getting out there in time so I could get home to uh, say hello to my, to my sons on Father's Day. It was a, Amazing event, and I'll never forget it in my, in my entire life. I want, I want to ask uh, Cole. Cole, you're 10 years old. You've seen your father come and go before. Tell me, describe the moment when you saw him walk in a few moments ago. What was that like for you? Well, it was kind of surprising because Mom said that he wasn't com coming home until the 18th, and then I was surprised when he came here because he's been away for nine months. I miss him. He is. And... Cade, for you, you're five, uh, so you've gone through this a couple times, not as much as your big brother. Was there anything that you were worried about? Because it's Father's Day. It can be tough when your dad's gone. Uh, is it a little easy for you, easier for you now, knowing dad's home for Father's Day? Yes. What was the first thing you said to your dad? Uh, I love it. <laughs> I bet that was music to your ears, huh? <laughs> I like that marine cap you're wearing there, my friend. Hey, let's t let's turn to Jody real quick. Uh, Jody, first, congratulations in your part in, in, in making this all happen here. What's it like uh, when he's away for the boys? Uh, uh, how much contact are you able to have? Um, it's, it's really hard for the boys. They don't understand a lot of things. And at their young age, you can't make them understand. But with... 
Him being God, we just make it the best we can. And I keep telling him every day that he loves them. And he does get to call every once in a while. And when he does, they're just ec ecstatic. Well, it's so great to see you all together. Uh, we, we all so enjoy watching the reunion, and we wish you all the best. Uh, Sergeant, uh, thanks for your service, and, what a, and have a great Father's Day. No, thank you, sir. I appreciate the opportunity for all this. Thank you very much. All right, and we'll be back right after this. Stay with me. I'm going to watch you shine, going to watch you grow, going to paint a sign so you'll always know. Life with Crow.